some point in time. We are live. Hey, good morning. Hey, it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I know it's late. It's like quarter of nine here a.m. on the East Coast time. I am sorry I'm so late. Um, just reading from some stuff and some people ask me questions. Okay, so it's our 508th episode. And uh, this is 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And here we talk about Scrum and Agile in a practical and tactical way. So you can bring value to the customer not work 50, 60, 80 hours a week and have a little fun at work and at home, right? So you can get back to your friends and family. And uh, we do talk about different topics related to IT, different things, different businesses, things going on. YouTube is kind of acting kind of strange lately. Things are working, not working, slow, connected, not connected. LinkedIn is not working, connected, not there and everything. Everything's kind of a little wacky lately. Um from infrastructure per perspective, so I wonder what's going on and out there in the world. Um, like I can post like those good morning episodes. I can post on my personal in LinkedIn, but I can't post it on my on the business side. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. We'll figure that. I, I, I'll let them know. Um, so what do I want to talk about today? I want to talk about continu continuity again, part two. There's a third part that I'm going to do on Thursday. Um, today I want to talk about infrastructure, um, and more I learned, I put a tweet out there, my own personal tweet, um, about all the stuff going on the other last week and people getting shut down and all that kind of stuff. And so it's a little infrastructure discussion, also in terms of agreement. I work with a lot of financial, a lot, a lot of insurance, a lot of regulated organizations, and there's a lot of terms of agreement, terms of service, terms of this, terms of that. Every time you buy something, there's terms. So I want to talk about that a little bit because it was a double whammy impact for this one company that got shut down. Part of what's going on. So it's not just all feelings, but it's also other issues that violated each, each other's terms of agreement. So first up, I want to talk about um, security. What I found out and what I heard of this one company, it starts with a P. It's not there anymore. Um, their infrastructure was terrible, um, and this is a this is a flaw I see in AWS, and I flaw on these salespeople to tell you, oh, let's put it all in the cloud, and then we don't have to buy any hire any more infrastructure people, and we don't have to worry about it anymore because AWS is going to take care of all of it for it. Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't do any of that crap for you. Um, and I think that's a misnomer. Manage it all. Oh, we're going to put on AWS and we're going to lay off all the infrastructure people. Well, guess what? Well, look at Parler. Well, excuse my well, the P word company. They didn't have any infrastructure and they got rid of a lot of people and all this stuff and they didn't have the safeguards and they didn't have the thing. So what all AWS is, and I'm I'm taking one of the AWS classes, but I've been through it a few times, is a server. It is a location from which you can put your stuff. The nice thing, because I had my own company, had to, you don't have to worry about 24-7 backup and T1 lines and all these access lines and all that because they got all that taken care of, right? They have all that infrastructure dialing in. But you have to handle your own security, your own system, your own software. You have to close all the back doors. You have to make sure no one can access your stuff just like your own firewall. You have to manage your own firewall, too, by the way. They just handle the idea of having your system always open. Like, they'll have mega centers. They have some in sync. They have some in probably in um, the Philippines, a couple in the States. I heard they were going to put one down in South America, but I'm not sure. that You know, maybe they have one overseas in Europe, a couple of different places. Um, but they handle the continuity from if one – East Coast goes down, you go in the West Coast, but even that doesn't work too well sometimes because I've seen it where they, uh, a demo where the guy was demoing AWS and the East Coast network went down. Now, that was years ago, and I'm hoping that they improved their infrastructure on that. But what I'm trying to get at, everybody thinks something is the gift to firing people, to laying people off, to I don't need that support. I don't need the mental power associated with that job because it's just going to be done on the computers. You know, 
It doesn't work that way. Um, even with this DevOps people, you know, they say, oh, we're going to put the DevOps. We're going to automate this stuff. We're going to make it automatic. Well, then you make your, your DevOps people what I found is you transform them from just turning on a server and flipping all the switches to shut all the back doors down and all that kind of stuff and build the firewalls to, oh, what's the new tech that we can bring into the business and be ahead of the game and keep our systems safe and operational and fast as all can be, right? Because nowadays everybody wants instantaneous information. So that P word company screwed up because they didn't do their infrastructure. They didn't hire the infrastructure. I mean, it's nice when you just start. Nobody cares. You don't have a traffic. But when you start getting traffic, everybody's going to want to hack your ass. So you got to think about that. So that's one thing. So they screwed that up from a continue out business continuity perspective. They didn't have the, in the infrastructure people working with their AWS to understand and have them support what they needed for their growth. Point one. Point two, terms of agreement. Everybody is violating their own terms of agreement. It's terrible. There's going to be lawsuits galore coming up. Whether it be infrastructure people, platform people, whatever. Once you start calling that terms of agreement. So one of the things, the other reason why the P company was getting shut down from what I heard was that they were violating their, their terms of agreement they had. Um, and this is my warning I have for everybody. Just don't copy and paste terms of agreement. Don't go to someone else's website and say, oh, I really like these terms of agreement. I'm going to apply them. And I'm going to paste them on my website. You can get turned off for that. Because if you don't do your terms of agreement and you get caught and you grow enough attention, you get hammered like the P company, right? Um, that'll happen. And I've seen a lot of companies do that. That's why I don't collect personal information. I hire the big guys that have all that take care of the deal with that, right? I don't collect any personal information. I don't, I don't, have, I don't need to, <laughs> right? It's not what I'm, what I'm here for. Um, but when I have companies, when I have companies that do stuff, small business, mom and pop, I was like, you have to be careful. You can't keep credit cards on your on your hard drives and your servers and stuff like that. You can't put that in there because people will hack you and they'll steal your stuff. Um, so you have to be careful with the terms of agreement, what data you collect on your customer base and what you don't and what you promise people, because those term of agreement will be used against you and they will use it to shut your business down. So those are the two things I just want to share with you. Two things. Don't think because you went on the cloud that you don't need infrastructure people. You need infrastructure people in the cloud just as much as you need them in your own server farm. And anybody ever comes to your office and says, oh, we can get rid of all our infrastructure people, then, then you know what? I'd fire them tomorrow because they're idiots. Seriously. They're risking your business. Someone comes in and says that. So I would say we can transform them into – getting us faster systems and make and have them be more productive. Like I've seen companies where they take their infrastructure, then they could code bots, right? So they would, before they would manually set up something else, they would take that coding to manually create a server and turn it into a bot. That's value add because now I know what it is. I get this call a lot. It takes, you know, five minutes and you get a new server spun up. With all the settings that you want that you need, right? So so that's what you transform. But if anybody comes in and says, get rid of all your infrastructure people, just just go one, you know, that was the stupidest suggestion you, that I heard lately. And I think uh, you need to think about that and think about if you really need to work here. Because if that's the way you're thinking and you're not thinking productive growth, agile thinking, then you're just going to kill us one day, Right? Think growth, not let go of people. How can we use those people and their talents and their brain power to promote the company? So that was the infrastructure thing about business continuity and why the P word company lost their stuff. Okay. They didn't have the infrastructure. And the other one is uh, terms of agreement. Make sure you follow your terms of agreement. Just don't copy and paste them from other organizations. 
Uh, people will hold you to it and you can get hit. And I'm going to tell you right now, everybody's violating their terms of agreement. <laughs> it's terrible. It's really sad. I don't collect any information. So there ain't nothing I got to worry about. <laughs> um, you now the other companies, they do like Facebook and LinkedIn and all that. It is what it is. But anyway, I want to wish you a happy day tomorrow. I want to tomorrow. I had written an elevator speech. I got an elevator speech that I'm going to give you tomorrow because I was listening to Elon Musk and I have an elevator speech for tomorrow. So have a great day. Happy scrumming. Take care of you all. Please give us a thumbs up. Do do number one, dad. Um, and ring the bell. So you get notification when we go early. I'm still adjusting my time and get back to where I want to be working on it step by step. Have a great day. Take care and see you tomorrow.